So that is a really good question. <laughs> I mean, it's a really good question because Poland was the best performing country in the EU in the decade of the, you know, in the decade prior to the peace coming to power. And so, uh, you know, the civic union should have been able to run on that record and, and, and do well. And so it is a you know, very strange thing. I guess what I would say is that um, I mean, I really do think that these identity issues are uh, really, they, they have to explain. So let me just give you this personal anecdote. So I, uh, you know, in Polish National Day, and I guess it's in August uh, every year. So the last one, a Ukrainian friend of mine sent me this uh, link to a website that was talking about fascists marching in the National Day Parade. And so I thought, oh, that's interesting, because uh, I knew that the previous year that had been a, you know, there had been these people that were saying, you know, keep Poland white and, and this sort of thing. So I just retweeted it. And then the next thing I know, I get several dozen really angry, you know, complaints, you know, from people in Poland and from a lot of Polish Americans, including some university professors, you know. There's this one guy that kept emailing me saying, you owe the Polish people an apology. When are you going to apologize? Uh, and it was just a very bizarre thing. It's a little bit like when I, in 2011, I wrote this blog post complaining about Viktor Orban, and I got like 500 really angry messages from Hungarians, you know, attacking me for this. And so it seems to me in both cases, you know, this really has to do with a kind of fragile sense of self-esteem, um, you know, that if you attack, if you criticize any aspect of Poland, you're attacking Poland itself, you know, whereas Germany, you know, Germans love attacking themselves. You know, they say, yeah, Hitler is terrible, and we did the Holocaust, and we're really sorry, and we're guilty, you know, and it doesn't, so the normal German reaction is not to be super defensive and say, oh, you're exaggerating, and, and so forth. Whereas I think in Eastern Europe, you have these nations whose sense of national identity is really not that secure and they therefore can't distinguish between people who are basically friendly yet critical of certain things that they're doing and people that are just you know out and out hostile so i don't know whether that's really a good explanation or not but it you know it's, it's sort of what i observe in this kind of personal you know, personal interaction the other thing is poland's got exactly the same sociology of populism that every other country does, right? So the, the liberals do well in Warsaw, Krakow, and all the big cities, and the peace has a, you know, a power base out in the countryside of less educated people, older people, and so forth. And those people, even though Poland as a country was doing well, not all of those people felt that they were sharing in it. And so I think they had something in, you know, in common in that sense with, um, with Trump voters. 